Hey guys, happy splasher here. Good morning. It is 6 11 2021. We're going to be doing some dark tower this morning and then also do a little bit of wish shop. I'm not actually going to cover that much of wish shop just because we have a couple of wish shop videos already on our YouTube and uh, our selections aren't going to change that much just because we already have pretty much all the units. So if you'd like to check out more about Wish Shop, check out my videos on YouTube regarding Wish Shop. All right, so let's get first into Dark Tower. Uh, you can see right now, going to set up our stuff, make sure that we have our guild bonuses ready. Oh, that's cool. There's a new, <laughs> there's a new code for some extra stuff. So we're gonna do that. Huawei, all right. Uh, all right, so let's see, we have our attacks bonuses over there. We have two factions and we have this third one over here. So we will activate this. This gives an attack boost to our order units. We'll activate the seven day because we'll need it for the next rotation of stuff. All right, uh, let's just might as well finish this here. All right, we're going to go get our promotion code. So we'll click on the inbox and then we'll go promotion code. They said it was Huawei. Uh, let's see if I'm spelling it right. Cool. Reward is on its way. So that's nice. Got a new code. Let's go back to our box and see what we get. All right. Some gold, some rares, and some gems. So let's pick those up. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to set up our warlord and our pet. Currently, right now, we are taking a beating in Dark Tower because of how the league is set up. So we will switch back to Spider and then we'll use our Gleedy Pet and then we'll go from there. All right, Dungeon of Trials and Dark Tower. So we have to get 10 wins. Each star is two wins and we have about two days to do so. If worse comes to worse, we'll use some extra attempts in order to get it done. Right now, our rewards are epics. We'll get two epic chests with 140 souls. And yeah, all right, let's get right into it. Okay, we are facing this Jimmy over here. It has some block runes, range units with splash, and then sets our health to one. Has a pet over here. That gives a health boost to other allies whenever they come into play. Attack bonuses and then deals extra damage whenever male unit kills. All right, uh, buildings look pretty flat so far, so no other abilities, health, and then damage to us. So in terms of stats, we're going to... It's a toss-up between this unit and this unit. I like actually this prince now. There you have a new ability because of the update. So whenever one of, of their units dies, it will actually summon another uh, Squire unit over here. And yeah, all right. So we're going to summon this over here and you'll see what it does. All right, so we got the kill and it summons the Squire. The Squire has block and then it has an attack boost to units with block. So this unit got an attack boost as well. I assume that whenever another Squire comes into play, it will actually give this unit an attack boost. So a little something to work with. Okay, all right. I got this unit here that gives miss to our units whenever it attacks. It has a little bit of block because it landed on the block rune and then minus attack whenever it dies. So with the block right now, we'll be dealing... We do need to get rid of this unit somehow, but we don't want to be losing our unit. We're actually going to... In terms of stats, we're going to actually ignore this one. We're going to be summoning this particular unit. The reason why is because of its ability. Whenever one of our units dies, it will actually heal another unit up. And that will allow us to keep up with our, our um, field present with our, our units. Same here. All right, I want to hold off on using the poison until those range units come into play. So for the time being, we're just going to hold off their units. 
Uh, in terms of stats, we're going to be summoning this particular unit. It has another summon in front of itself, and it should be giving spikes from what I remember. Placing this other... Let me just take a look at this other unit over here. Okay, it just says spikes and then gives negative attack whenever it is attacked. All right. Bring this over here. Okay, if they don't end up sending their range units though, we're probably going to use our poisons trying to get to get back some more pressure on this board. Not a problem. Let's go here. Okay, taking a look. This also has block. Alright, we'll use our poison and then we will what makes sense for us right now with our stats. Okay, uh, we're going to be summoning this unit. It has the ability to lower the attack of units in the line for return whenever a unit is summoned. It'll help us defend this particular unit. We'll place it over here so that we actually have another ranged spot available for us. Okay, lost the attack because of that unit's death ability. All right, they summon the ranged units. So this unit's gonna die from combat, this is gonna die from combat, and this unit is going to die from combat along with this. Okay. Uh... All right, not too great. Uh, this unit was sending our health to five for a range unit, so that's why these units were healed using our destruction ability here. Uh, do we need to get rid of this somehow? Ugh, yeah, I, I, I hate that we took that extra splash damage over there. We also took extra damage because of their pet. Let's see, do we have anything? This. No, I don't think we're going to make it out of this one. Yeah, 87, 86. Yeah, we're not going to make it out of this one. The, uh, yeah, it, the, the ranged units actually clear out too much of our board. We took a little bit too much damage. Uh, uh, could potentially get some health back, but that's really it. All right, we'll see if we can get some health back off of our pet. Okay, uh, we could still take one more hit, but other than that, we're it's pretty much gonna be game here. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. They had that. Uh, like I said, they had those ranged units that came out, wiped out our board. Couldn't come back from that. We're stuck either way because we had to use our poison in order to get rid of their board. So, oh well. All right, uh, heading on. Trying to get this other victory going. Okay, uh, looking at their warlord. They have the heal. They have the silence ability, and then they have the stones with the heal. They also have a pet that gives plus health, and then a little bit of attack whenever one of their units come into play. Looking at their buildings, got spikes, health. Negative attack, spikes on our building, and then block over there. Uh, take a look here. Okay, in terms of stats, we're going to be summoning this particular unit, and we're going to be placing this over here with the building to get a little bit of protection. We're going to forego extra damage to their warlord until they get rid of their other abilities. So we want to trigger the silence, and then we'll have to trigger the stones in order to get it done. The way to typically trigger the silence is to have some sort of unit that has an attack boost or a skill that would threaten their warlord enough. So also if if you have units that have high defense, they typically do not use silence. So this might be held off unless we somehow wipe off the, the rest of their board. 
All right, uh, let's take a look here. We don't want our unit to get poisoned, but at the same time, we also realize that the, they still have silence. So even if it does get poisoned, it will get wiped out eventually. Let's take a look, see if we have anything else here. Effect. All right, in terms of stats, hmm, do we can do two things here. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll summon this attacking unit down here. And just getting rid of some buildings, placing some more attackers, placing some, some, some more defense down there so that we can block the lines. Just flight metal shield, not a problem. Summon this ranged unit to get rid of that. Okay, we trigger the silence, so that's good. Alright. Next thing to do is then to trigger the stones so that we can then use our ability to poison and then get rid of those stones. Okay, uh, in terms of stats, we're gonna be summoning this unit. It gets an attack boost for every chaos unit that's on our side, and it also has double attack. On top of that, whenever it gets attacked, it will deal damage to units that attack it in this particular area. So that will help us trigger our destruction ability. Uh, we're going to hold off on using our poison because these units are going to die from combat. I'm placing this over here, just getting another range unit to get some more damage going in. Let's see if the chat's going. All right, yeah, there's some issue with Congregate right now. Hopefully, this stuff still saves. All right, we triggered the stone, so that's good. Now we can just use our poison and then get rid of those other units poison first see how much health they get back so 216 how many double attacks they have Oops. here so it won't be quite enough yet one two yeah okay all right, we're going to summon, actually, we're going to be summoning this totem. And the reason why is because whenever one of our units dies, it will actually give an attack boost to our other units. This unit is going to die straight from combat. So we'll put this over here. We're getting a little bit of health back, which is fine. Okay, and this unit here is healing their units whenever we attack their warlord. So that's why this stone went back to full health. Okay, as you saw, that ability where the damage came whenever they were attacked, so now we can just clear the board, do our extra summons, and then we'll just place one more just for fun. All right, that battle was much better than the previous one. <laughs> okay, so perfect. Okay, got a little bit of an increase for our next reward. So let's just go. Okay, taking a look at their warlord. Has damage to our units, ranged units over here, and then attack boost to order units for one turn. Has a pet here that gives a little bit of health whenever they're summoned. Got some spike buildings. Okay, uh, block here and then pierce for us. Thing we're going to do. We have a couple of good choices. We could summon this, we could summon this. So, the, the big problem is that they have that ability to deal damage to all of our units. So, I don't want to send out this unit quite yet. 
it does have some other abilities with their uh, the, the summons that it has but for safety sake i'm going to be summoning this particular unit placing this over so this unit has immunity and then also whenever it's attacked it sets the unit of the health to one on top of that it gives a little bit of a health boost whenever we summon our units so that will actually help us defend against that particular ability for damage all right or do okay our strategy is to hold off on the poison until they at least use their first ability uh, if not, we can also potentially wait for the second where the second ability where they do summon their archers. Uh, we're going to be not dealing with this unit directly. It has too much health for us relative to uh, the other units that we have. So we're going to summon this particular unit. It gives miss to a unit for one particular turn. So we don't have to worry about this for now. And then depending upon what they summon, we'll either use our poison to get rid of this or, or just keep going for damage. All right. All right. So we'll mark poison. Then, like I said, we want to deal as much damage as we can. See here. Uh, Seeing what the health boost is actually going to be here. So, okay, so we got that. We got an attack boost for every empty unit in our side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 24. So we'd still take two turns for it to give a boost. So we're just going to do this for now. We're going to be placing this range unit actually behind here so that we'll get some support for this particular unit. All right, and we are marking these units for damage because they both have high health. And then this unit also steals attack whenever we summon one of our units. So it's slowing us down in terms of progress. All right, so we'll get rid of those units. Then in terms of summons, taking a look, I don't think we can be able to get rid of this particular unit right now. Uh, I could potentially summon this unit. This unit's good right now, at least for the attack boost. It's not very much because we did uh, reborn a couple of days ago, but it does have this death ability. So whenever it dies, it will deal damage to one of their units. So at least for now, I may trigger that. And I'd like to put more pressure on these units. If this, this had a little bit more of attack, we'd be able to summon this, but it's not going to help our current board right now. So we're just going to be summoning this here. Okay, a little bit of an attack boost over there. Okay, so they have this unit that gives toxin to two of our units whenever we summon something. We're gonna be getting rid of this now, just making sure that we can deal some extra damage or uh, contain the, the lane here. See if there are any other abilities that I might have missed. Yep. All right, well, we'll be summoning this unit uh, here in terms of stats. We're going to be placing it over here so that we can double defend in case we run into another unit. Okay, next turn, we can either summon this ranged unit because of its stats to deal more damage, or we can summon this unit. And the reason why is because it has the skill to freeze one of their units whenever we attack their warlord. It also deals damage at the end. So let's see here, some combat, some 17, attack that, attack that, attack that. Okay, so we're gonna freeze that. Okay, seeing if there are any other triggers over here. Okay, and the warlord attack, all right. Right, so summoning this, getting rid of that unit. Then we have our freeze. Uh, 
Okay, damage was done over there. With our particular unit here, that gave the health boost to our other units when they're summoned. It actually helped us uh, defend against the damage from that ability. All right, and just taking a look here. Okay, deals damage to a random unit whenever they're, uh, one of our units attacks. We'll just flood the board over here. And then we'll just get our summon here. And there we go. All right, a little bit of progress. Liking this, liking this. Okay, same rewards. Let's go. Okay, we see here that they have a lot more health than us, so we're probably going to be losing. And the reason why is because when we see more health, we'll typically have to deal with stronger units as well. Okay, so this unit, whenever heal triggers on their side, it will deal damage to all of our units. And then whenever this unit attacks, it also heals other units, including themselves. So that's not good. Uh, so we don't have enough damage to kill it directly. Let me just take a look to see. There's a, there's, there is a rune over here. So it, it gives a little bit of a attack boost. 81, 18, 99, and then 11, that's 110. So not quite enough to deal with them, to deal lethal to that. But we will place this flight unit in front of it for now. Block a little bit of the damage going in. It'll also help us defend our building. That gives us mental shield. Uh, so nothing quite yet. We're first contending with their units because we're not going to be able to beat them in combat right now. Okay. They also have that pet that gives an attack boost to their units and then deals extra damage whenever a male unit kills something. Deal 110 damage here. Not quite yet. Uh, in terms of stats, we'll be using this unit. It also gives vampirism to two other units on our side, so we'll be able to get a little bit more damage against this unit. Okay, still having to deal with their other units right now. Uh, frozen, two units on our side for a turn, so that's not great. Uh, it's also too early for us to use our destruction ability because even though we get rid of these units, we'll still have to deal with their stones and the silence as well. But what we can do is... Hold on for now. We can get rid of at least one of these units. We'll mark for poison, but we won't use our destruction ability yet. And on top of that, we'll be summoning this particular unit. We could summon this unit to kill and then have the poison trigger off to kill this unit, but the silence is going to hurt us more over here. We're going to run with this unit and we're going to place this over here. If they do end up using silence now, it's not a big deal because then they'll be forced to at least we'll be able to block one attack because of that have they used it here uh, they have used their heal so that's good okay so we will in terms of stats we'll be summoning this unit it gives miss to two units whenever attacks. Okay, these units are now marked for poisoned. Let's see, this one was marked. Nope, so this one is at least miss. These are marked for damage. Yeah, not looking too good right now. Okay, so in terms of tempo, we are going to use our destruction ability now. Okay. Because of, they only have two units now on the board, we can at least stop those units for 
attack. Seeing how much damage these are. So 29. Okay. Okay. And we're going to be summoning this building. It deals damage to units at the end of the turn. And, and we're going to be blocking this over here. Reason why is because of these death runes. So these death runes, they kill our units whenever we're summoning on them. Unless we have either divine shield or immunity. So we'll have to defend this line until we can get rid of these death runes. So they have this unit that deals a ton of damage to our nature units. It also has this Tesla X that whenever any unit dies, it will deal damage to us. So I actually don't think we're going to make it out here. Reason why, because we'll be taking way too much damage. If we kill any one of their units right now without killing this building, we will die. Um... Don't really have any other choice right now. Uh, I guess we'll summon this, see if we can get some extra damage. No, no. Yeah, we, like I said, the, those buildings, <laughs> those buildings uh, made us die because we lost too many units. So that's fine. We were under the expectation that we were going to lose anyways because they had much better units than us. So no big deal. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So, we have two days in order to get eight wins. We were able to get two more wins this time. And like I said, if worse comes to worse, we'll use some extra attempts to get the victories because these rewards will eventually turn to legendary chests and legendary chests are what we're looking for right now. Uh, so yeah. All right, let's go to the wish wheel, wish shop, whatever you want to call it. So the wish shop over here is on the right. And as you'll see here, it will allow you to pick a certain amount of units. Let's choose heroes for summons. I forgot what the tiering is right now in order to affect how many selections you get. Uh, it is on the wiki, the Mighty Party wiki. So if you look up the Mighty Party wiki and then look up Wish Shop, it'll tell you the breakdown. All right, so just a quick rundown of what happens here. What happens is you select any units that you want to potentially get from the Wish Shop. You'll get a free roll every 24 hours to open potential legendaries. They also have other rewards that are in there too, like elixirs, soul dust, gems. You'll be able to see it when I cycle through. Uh, let's see, what do I want to currently get right now? Okay, at this point, since I have all the units, I am going to just get stuff that I need for my squad. So I'm actually going to go back, see what I'm using right now. Because I do switch my squad from time to time. What I want is more of this particular unit, more of this particular unit, and then more of I guess more of this particular unit. Uh, one thing about all those units that I just mentioned, they're all event units as opposed to regular units. Regular units are units that you can get in League, which you can check out by clicking in the fight and then League. If you cycle through here, you'll see which are some of the units that you can end up getting. Just doing a quick top 10, seeing if there's... Okay, no. All right, so yeah, I'm going to be requesting all those units that I'm going to use. So we'll go here. Seeing where they are again. All right, so this one over here. Actually, let me change the order. Sometimes they give you your units based upon the order that you actually choose them. So we'll actually do that. And we'll see if it's uh, true. So we'll choose number two over here. And then we'll choose number three being our unit over here. Once you make your selections, you confirm. It says we won't be able to change your decision. So that is fine with me. All right. And then you can open one time free every 24 hours. So we'll roll. You can see there's gems, guild contribution. And we got those units first. All right. So that's fine. 
All right, in 24 hours, we'll be able to open another chest. Hopefully we can get some more of this unit. Otherwise, any one of these units are, are fine for me. So yeah, that is pretty much it for today. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to be streaming at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and we're gonna be doing some journey. So that'll be fun. Uh, we're gonna be starting on nine, uh, the level 926 or three Rondo 2640. We'll create a new squad in order to deal with this Warlord and we'll just show you what it does. So whenever it gets attacked, it gives miss to our units for a turn. And then whenever enemy attack, enemy being us. So whenever one of our units are attacked, it will deal damage to other units around it. So that'll be something to deal with. And it tells you some of the units that they're doing that they have in their squad. So a little bit of heal, double attack with steel, uh, stealing attack from our units, reflect damage and extra block, and then silence as well. Looks like they're nature too. So if we have any type of units that can deal damage to nature, that'll be good. And yeah, we'll take it from there. Uh, our goal is to complete journey by the end of this month or potentially by tomorrow if we can get some good rng so yeah uh if there are any questions comments feedback or concern leave a message on twitch discord or youtube please follow on twitch and like and subscribe on youtube we have all the videos uh, including the past streams uh, past world events etc on youtube search happy splasher and uh check it out from there otherwise thanks for tuning in guys and uh yeah this is happy splasher Signing off.